I can, then get all nasty there in the, in the hands, right? But we're gonna do it in the machine, right? It's very, it's so little, right? Right? So I'm gonna place it in the, so little, so we should do double, right? We're gonna add the butter, right? So at this point is where you could, you know, put your hands in and touch it a little bit, scratch it. So what are we doing, guys? We're gonna do the butter with the flour, right? It's very simple. So we're gonna begin to mix very slow because we don't want the flour to jump on us, right? And you're gonna be able to approach and see it. I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna I'm gonna let this cube to get mushed a little bit with the flour, right? Very simple. The salt is in there. Remember, it's a three to one dough. Uh, we're gonna do a. Um, uh, I'm not making a pie, so anybody can use this, or you're gonna make your own pie dough too, right? So uh, we can do different doughs, right? So I'm not gonna let it go, so that's why you do it by hand, so little amount, but you can do it really fast with a little little tool, right? You get it done yeah. fast as home. Uh, I like to do it in the machine, because normally what we teach is bigger production. Thanksgiving is coming, right? Big machine. A lot of butter, right? Can you explain here? You keep the you keep the, the, the butter bigger. Bigger, okay. Bigger chunks. If you want to do uh, mealy, you almost go all the way until the butter almost disappears, okay. right? Remember, right now, we, I still have a lot of chunks here, right? So I'm gonna go slightly more, but not too much, huh? Not too much because I want this to, I want this to uh, stay. Yeah. I'm gonna leave them almost that big. I'm gonna yeah. go a little bit more. Okay. All right, but remember, I still have the water to go in there. Right. right. So we, I'm gonna still be, be mixing to see how the, they're, they're getting smaller. Is it pea size? Is that too small? For me, it is. I prefer to do them a little bit bigger. Yeah. All right. And with shorten, it works really well. So I'm gonna go a little bit more and make the chunks there. Mm -hmm. Right. So maybe one. Right. Two. And that's it. And I'm gonna leave it there because I'm not. That stage, or do you roll it out first? I'm gonna rest it like this, and I'm gonna. You put it in the fridge. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That, remember, the, we need to work this chill. Yes. If we work this chill, there's no problem. Never. Just always chill. Okay. So until you wanna wrap it for me, and we're gonna put it in the fridge. You can use water for your folder, you can use flour, you can just go like this. See? So, we're gonna use, uh, in this case, I think I'm gonna use flour. Right? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it on top. See? In the instruction set, to put it on your table. So, we can do that too. Put it on the table, huh? What you're doing, that's folding? This is folding, so what do we do when we fold? You're not hard mixing the ingredients, but you're making gluten. You straighten the gluten, there you go. We also degas it, right? We equalize the temperature too. And we also redistribute the food for the yeast. So there's four things that happen when you fold. Mm. Right, so it's, a, it's even important. Every step is important, I hear you. First of all, you take away the gas. Second, you uh, straighten the gluten, in this case, a lot. Third, you equalize the temperature, because in the center it's hotter, warmer, and then you redistribute the food for the yeast. So those four things happen. So this is ready. I'm just gonna leave it there. Okay, and the next one we're gonna do it on the table. I didn't wanna put it on the table right now, but we can do it like this, right? But see, it's, it's getting there. Mm -hmm. See, we have, we have more. All right. So this is good. And now I'm gonna go back to the pie dough. Really nice. Right. I don't. Flour is your friend, but it's your enemy too. All right. Very light. Like making magic, like Harry Potter. <laughs> you don't know Harry Potter? Yeah. Right. It's a classic now. So we're gonna make a, uh, see the butter? Mm -hmm. So, see I'm not putting much flour, okay? 
but I want to use my tool. The flour is good, but it's not the best. We don't want to get it too much. A right? little bit. Right? So it's very little dough. Right? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold it there. If I was doing a biscuit, right? And the moment I keep my table clean, I won't have any problems with the dough. Okay? See? I'm gonna give it rich. Right? So what I wanna show you now and I'm folding this a little bit is that the more you fold it, the more even I make my dough. See how it's getting like to be very uh, more uh, now as I am more intelligent than the dough, suppose, suppose right? Right? So I see there's more butter on one side. Guess what? I'm gonna fold it to put that butter inside, right? And I have to fold it for a pie is enough. You don't wanna go because then your pie is gonna be too much, right? But for a biscuit, that's how you would do it, right? And then and that's what I'm trying to do because you do your pie though. Uh, this one. If you have a biscuit, right, formula which works the same, you can give it a fold like this and then just... How much pressure do you... No. Do you know this kind of... Uh, mm -hmm. Right? This is a French rolling pin. Mm -hmm. French rolling pin is nice, it gives you precision. You, you feel it in your hands. If you take uh, the big rolling pins with the hand of that, but you need a lot of strength to, to roll. Ah, okay. This one is... This is nice, right? This, okay. This, uh, see how it's better, right? So we're gonna fold in thirds, like we did with the pie dough, right? <coughs> right, so there we go. And then there's uh, the baby fold that I call. So I take it on the extremes, right here. And just, see? So now. Dough is not anymore what it was. See the difference? We have a dough coming up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you look at. It's thick, but now it's dough. It's a nice dough now. It came out really nice now. See? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put it there. I don't oh, want to... I'm not going to fold it, nothing. It's a, it's a steep dough, right? Let me see something. Let me yeah. just do go by. I'm gonna go by weight. It's supposed to do two, right? Two goes. This um, is strong. We're gonna divide it in sixes, right? And we're gonna do um, six braids. So we're gonna have several braids here. So we're gonna be able to practice, right, everybody? Do uh, some of these called three shapes. So we're gonna just push it down, and we're gonna three shape oblong, okay? Yeah, push down, hold. And we'll begin to make our strands, right? In, remember I said we were going to remove the gas well, right? Then we have to shape, okay? So you're pounding it down. Yep. That way I don't have as, as, as the less air bubbles I get, the best my color will be. Come on and do the carries. Okay. Uh, are you you're filming, right? That's okay. Yeah, I call you when I begin okay. to shape again. So I'm gonna do. We're gonna do. The shape is gonna be like a torpedo taper on the sides. Yes. Put it outside. Yes? And you're gonna keep your hand there. So. And then the outside is gonna go into center. And that's the movement. Yes? So inside, outside, outside, center. I keep my hands here so I know. Inside, outside. 
outside center. Да? Inside, outside, outside center. Inside, outside.